Hello, Godspeed. The practitioner here. Bachelor of Science student, um, chemistry major, mathematics minor, amateur magician, um, according to my uh, test, possible psychic, and, um, well, again, I don't know. For people who are watching this, no, I'm not going uh, countering my own skepticism. As I've already said before in previous videos, clairvoyance and telepathy may be more likely than not, but further research is needed. And parapsych researcher. Anyway, um, Godspeed. I just wanted you to, um, I wanted to let you know, I took a look at quite a few of your videos, and um, I took. <laughs> there were a couple of which I knew were tricks, and I could spot them a mile away. Uh, particularly your your uh, page move uh, backwards. That's a trick uh, which is called loops, and I've used that all the time for moving forks, moving um, pens. Uh, I think I've actually moved book pages with that too before. Anyway, like I said, I can spot the I can spot the invisible thread tricks a mile away. This one, however, uh, your, di your dice moving trick, um, I thought was particularly interesting. And I wanted to show you, um, everybody, uh, a lot of people have said that there was, you know, no way that it could be faked. Again, uh, your, uh, again, no use of string, because again, there would be nowhere to grab it and all that sort of thing. And um, again, blowing, of course, is not very good. However, there is something which I uh, completely got forgotten, and I have tried this on the dining room table as soon as I watched your video. So um, I thought you'd find this interesting. But um, I have a dice right here. It's a standard um, six-sided playing dice. And I'm going to move my webcam down. And I'm going to show you exactly how one can fake these uh, telekinesis tricks. Uh, I'm not saying that automatically that yours are fake. But I would, uh, let me put it this way. I would want to see, before I believe that you were actually controlling the dice, I would want to see both your hands in shot before I actually believe that this was possible. I want to see both your hands and the dice in shot, and, oh, actually, I would want to see your legs, too. So, um, if you could switch your webcam in such a way that you were facing sideways, and that your your hand and both your legs were in shot, again, to prevent this sort of uh, technique, then I would believe that you actually had the capability to control a dice. Um, again, I'd have to make sure that there was no mechanism available for this. However, um, that having been said, um, please, after I've shown you this, um, if you do wish to continue, uh, if you do wish to make a demonstration of dice control with those particular controls in mind, I will be all the happier to accept, um, to accept automatically that you have telekinetic capabilities. Um, as a matter of fact, if you do, uh, if you do manage to prove that, I myself will actually start going after James Randi. Uh, I myself will actually start turning. Uh, I will actually start turn coding on all the skeptics myself on this one particular issue. Um, I've already said in one of my previous videos before that um, psychokinesis. Uh, more, sorry, rephrase that. Macro psychokinesis has no possible mechanism uh, within current physics that we know of that would allow for such a transfer to work. Um, barring, of course, the psi wheel, which of course is heat from the hands. But other than that, um, again, there is no mechanism which would allow for some effect like this, barring a magic trick. So, here's the effect, and then I'll explain the remainder of my proposition afterwards as to what I want you to do in order to be able to prove that you have psychokinesis, uh, macro psychokinesis, i.e. TK. So, I'd like you to observe the hand. Now, watch my hand as closely, and lo and behold, you can see it moves. Did you hear that bump? See, it's already starting to move. Now, I'll just give it a quick little bit of a wave. Whoa, that was a really big jumper. I assume, of course, you figured out how I did that. That big bump, which, of course, um, which I've noted, uh, I noticed you also played music in your clip, which was very effective in covering that over. That bump on the table, and you can actually do that on a dining room table too, or even a computer desk. What that is, that that is the kinetic energy of the fist of, a f of someone's fist or n or knee bumping up against the table as the hand is doing the gesture. Again, I'll show you again. Here it is doing the gesture, and you see it even starts to move a little when I lightly tap it. When I do a bit of a fist, it starts to shift too. It's a very effective magic trick, but um, as a demonstration of real telekinetic capability, um, I'd want to see you... Um, now, I'll explain how I want you to do this in future for in the event of uh, that you were able to get this, okay? Allow me to demonstrate. I'm moving my computer over here. What I want to see is I want to see both your legs, your right hand, and your left hand in shot, as well as the dice. I'm trying to blow on it to prove that it can't be moved by blowing. Oh, actually it can be a little bit. But, uh, but for that jump like you did in the previous video, I want to see both your hands, etc. If you can do it like that, um, if you can do it like that, then I will believe that you have telekinetic capability. And as a matter of fact, the dice, uh, the dice roll is one of the, uh, the dice trick, the, the dice thing that you've done here 
is probably the best potential uh, case for telekinetic uh, capabilities in existence. So again, what I want to see is I want to see replications again, where not only is the dice spinning, but jumping off the table like it was there, or like it was on mine, but with both hands and both legs in the shot. I also want no music to verify that you're not blowing on it. Again, no music. And uh, again, well, uh, relatively powerful mic. Um, and after that, I will entirely believe uh, that you have telekinetic capability. Until then, uh, I'm going to bet that it's more likely to be a magic trick. Um, still, though, it is a good trick. Uh, you had practically everybody I read there uh, pretty well fooled. At least from what I could tell, you had pretty well everybody fooled. Um, so um, do keep up the good work. If uh, But again, um, sometime soon, you might want to put up a little thing saying uh, illusion. Uh, as for the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the compass moving and stuff like that, um, I noticed, uh, now I'm going to debunk a couple of others here. I noticed on the back, on the uh, compass one, that you did not show the back of your hand before the compass started moving. You never actually showed the back of your hand. And um, the page, while well, I've already explained about the loops, the dollar bill has already been replied to in great detail. And I actually watched someone else um, do the exact same hand movements that you did, which means that fishing line technique for having moved the dollar bill is more likely than not. Again, like I said, I do believe it's possible, so I'm not entirely close-minded here, okay? I'm not, I'm not uh, a pseudo-skeptic, and I'm certainly not a mega-skeptic like James Randi. Uh, uh, like, I'm not a hyper-skeptic. I am, however, a critical thinker, and when I see something that is more likely to be a magic trick, I'd say, okay, what I want you to do is do it under these following tighter controls. You don't even have to do it for money. Uh, you don't have to do it to prove a challenge to me or to anyone else. It would just simply be a more convincing piece of evidence that I could take to uh, my fellow skeptics. Um, again, because like I said, I've brought evidence when I find it of pro-paranormal phenomena to fellow skeptics um, when, I, when it looks good. Like I said, when I see it and it looks good, I bring it to skeptics to try to convince them. So like I said, do it under those conditions. Um, and if you've got it, if you've been able to make the die move under those conditions, great. Again, like I said, you've already saw how I did it. Both legs and both hands... Uh, in full view, and then of course you wave your hand or what have you, and the dice moves. If it does the exact same thing under those conditions, I'll believe. And then not only that, but I will bring you, um, I will actually bring you to a uh, local scientist I know, who upon reviewing the tape will probably end up winning the Nobel Prize for having discovered you. Wink, wink. Anyway, uh, like I said, um, do by all means attempt to replicate under those conditions. Uh, once you do, I will be a believer. Um, I believe telekinesis is highly unlikely. It's possible, but highly unlikely. Um, but I'm very open-minded, and um, i just like to see under those following conditions. Other than that, uh, and the reason I want to see that is, again, I'm just giving you the conditions. Uh, other than that, uh, do the same magnet thing that you were doing earlier, just to verify that it's non-magnetic. You can set it up yourself, so this way the controls are entirely up to you, um, just to prevent... Um, but again, it has to be jumping up in the air. It has to be doing the exact same thing as I saw in this video. If it does anything else, I'm likely to suspect something like loops or another magician's trick coming up. So if it does exactly what it did in this video, with both legs and both hands in full view, and uh, no music to prevent you from blowing, like I said, I'll believe. Keep up the good work. And uh, if you do have telekinesis, I'll be looking forward to seeing your video response shortly. Toodles!